Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the trifecta of the CompTIA certifications, the A+, Security+, Plus, and Network+, Plus, or A+, plus, Network+, plus, Security+, plus, however you want to say it. And I have them all right here. They're not framed because they're pretty old, but like this is my A+, plus. whoops, right? From 2008, I took my A+, plus, and this is my Network+. Plus. I took that in 2009, a couple of months later, as you can see, or as you can see over here, 2009. And my Security Plus I did in 2015. As you can see here is my Security Plus. And I was grandfathered in. Now, when you take the, these certifications, you have the CE, Continued Education. We're going to jump onto my desktop shortly, and I'll go through each certification and what the recommendations are and what I think about these certifications. Just pretty much like a review on these three certifications and my recommendation for them. So let's jump onto the desktop and have some fun. <music> So here we are on my desktop. So the A-plus certification. First, when I got my A-plus certification, I was doing a lot of bench work and hardware, installing hard drives and reinstalling Windows, installing motherboards, all the stuff that at that time I didn't really enjoy. What I did enjoy really, I used to take apart laptops. And back in the day, 15, 20 years ago, a lot of people used to break their power adapter on their laptop, and I used to love to solder those back on. And I lost my soldering skills because when I had, when I went to B side in Orlando, I had to solder my my little badge, and I screwed it all up. But it is what it is, right? So the A plus certification. So if we go to the overview. Obviously, you can see these uh, these cool guys. Um, what school? What skills will you learn, right, for the A plus certification? And obviously now, from when I took my certification, when was it in two thousand eight? So it's a long time ago, right? So fifteen years ago now. And so you're going to learn about hardware, identifying, connecting hardware components. That's what we learned when I did it as well. Operating systems, Mac, Chrome OS. I didn't have Android. I didn't have. I don't even think I had Linux on mine. I think I had just Windows and some Mac. And software troubleshooting, that's normal. Some networking. I don't think we had much networking when I did my A+, but this is pretty cool that we can learn that now. Troubleshooting, that's key component, right, for the A+. Some security, we didn't have any security when I did my A+, so that's pretty cool. Uh, mobile devices, because mobile devices bring your own device everywhere is uh, pretty much really important these days, right? Virtual, virtualization and cloud computing, that's critical with Azure, GCP, uh, AWS, and all these private cloud companies, you should know and understand the cloud technologies. And then op uh, operational procedures, you know, the best practices, environmental impacts. Actually, I got a green IT plus. I wonder if they still have that. Let's see if they still have a comp. CompTIA Green IT. This certification is super old. I don't even know where mine is, but uh, the Green IT. I don't. I don't know if this is it. Let's go back. I want to go back and just put certification. And let's go to like images. Yep, this was it. Green IT. So obviously it changed a lot now, but yeah. That was it. I should, I, I'll find it and I'll probably uh, showcase it. But um, I don't remember even what I learned on that to be 100% honest. So jobs you can land with your A plus, right? You can be a help desk te technician, IT specialist, field service technician, IT support manager, et cetera, et cetera. It's more on the help desk desktop support, right? And organizations that recommended, Dell, Intel, HP, Nissan, Blue Cross, you know, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, the exam is two parts, right? The core one, core two. And I guess the launch date for this core, uh, this exam was 2019 and it expires or 
Oh, I guess like this came out the two 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 zero uh, ten oh one and then eleven oh one. So that's what I see. Eleven oh one came out last year. This is how long I've been at it a game with the old CompTIA certs. So it's ninety minutes per exam. How many questions? It's still like a hundred questions. I guess ninety questions per exam. I think mine was like a hundred. All right, and you can see how much it is. How much is it? Probably a couple hundred dollars. I guess, uh, let's go back. Uh, certifications, A+. Plus. The voucher. So it's 246 bucks. Okay. So next one is the Network Plus. So this is, I'm going to be talking about A+, plus, Network Plus, Security Plus. So the Network Plus, I think, is super critical. I recommend this to anyone that wants to get into cyber eventually or just wants to stay on the network and system side and the reason why i say this i I'll, I'll, I'll say on that i'll keep that thought to myself for a second so the network plus what are we going to learn the no network fundamentals uh implementations network operations and network security and network troubleshooting so what i was going to say just a second ago like a friend of mine Someone I know skipped the Network Plus and went for CCNA and CCNP, right, for Cisco. And he went into a MDF, he went to a server room, and there was a cable that was uh, a CAT6 cable that was like just ripped off the patch panel. And he didn't know how to patch it, batch, patch the cable back into the patch panel. He didn't know the color combinations and like what you learn on the network plus is that right you learn how to make cables you understand what the rj45 cables are i think that's super critical um but there's so much more that you can learn with the network plus certification right so you what kind of jobs can you land with your network plus uh network security operations network security analysts security analysts data architect you know it's more like this junior uh, network admins excuse me, and organizations that recommend or require Network Plus, Apple, Blue Cross, Dell, Intel, the Department of Defense, and, and so many others probably, right? So the exam number now is N10008. It's 90 questions. You need a 720 to pass. And let's see what the price is for this. Uh, so U.S. I'm in the U.S. is three hundred and fifty-eight dollars for this exam. Okay. So the next one is the Security Plus, right? So the Security Plus, I think this one, these all go hand in hand, and I would work in the order of A plus, Network Plus, then Security Plus. That's just what I would recommend. So the overview, and this will obviously open doors for cybersecurity. And the new certification is going to be coming in November. It is November. So I'm not sure if the 701 is out. We'll check that now. So what skills you will learn in the Security Plus certification is general security concepts, threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigations, security architect, security operations, and security program management and oversight. Right? So... Some of the jobs you can get is a cloud pen tester, network security operation, so you can work at a SOC pen tester, uh, network security architect, web app pen tester, and so on and so forth, right? So some organizations, Deloitte, Fidelity, John Hopkins, Microsoft, Wells Fargo, et cetera, Zoom, so on and so forth, right? So the exam, I guess the new one, the 701 came out on... November 7th this month. So yeah, hopefully you can study up for that. And we're going to get into some free resources that you can study all three of these certifications and some good training that I recommend that I've done myself. And I went through just to check it out and I highly recommend it, but we'll get into that in a second. So the 601 exam expired July, 2024. So you have about what? six months, seven months to take that exam. 
And the price for this is, let's see, how much is Security Plus? $392, okay? So now we'll jump into free training. I really like Professor Messer. I did, you know, I used to watch Professor Messer's videos way back when. And everyone has their own opinion on each trainer, right? However, trainers train. When I did my A plus in 2007, because I, I started studying it for 2007, or maybe in the beginning of 2008, I don't remember. But I did it when, um, December? I did it right after Christmas of 2008. So I used his training and I used, I believe, uh, CBT Nuggets back then. I don't remember who was doing the training. I can't recall. But here you can get, this is all free, right? So A plus core. So if you can click on the core, you can see here, you know, how to pass. Obviously you have to probably sign up or do something or just watch it right here. Boom, it's right here. Or you could, I, you could probably go to his YouTube channel as well, but that's the 1101 and you can do 1102. The network plus, let's click on network plus now, start here. And these are all free, right? So he does this all for free. So you can't really beat that, right? And the security plus right here, I guess the 701, right? Because 701 is the latest and greatest. And you can see right here, section one, change management, and he goes through all the different sections, right? So you can't really beat this. For free 99, you know, thank you, Professor Messer, right? You're doing great things for the community. All right, so Jason Dion is also another trainer. He is awesome. I watched a lot of his videos, even for the CYSA Plus and, and so on and so forth. So I, I believe he does, yeah, he does the A Plus. So you can, obviously you have to pay. I'm not sure, it's $89. I'm sure you could probably get a deal, right? So let's go back. I think that's the whole shebang. Let's just see if you get like just the training. Uh, do, 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 do. That's practice exams. Let's just see, like, uh, that's just practice exams. But you get the gist. You can just click around. Jason Dion is awesome. I, I highly recommend his training. He's, he's amazing. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys a breakdown because I was getting asked questions about the A+, Network+, Security+, and what I recommend. Do I recommend those certifications? And what am I you know, thoughts about those. So hopefully it's been informative for you guys. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day.